fly the kite first. George runs as fast as he can. But the kite won't fly. George, you're doing it all wrong. You didn't run fast enough. Now it's my turn. Pepper runs as fast as she can. <laughs> But the kite still won't fly. The kite won't fly if there isn't any wind, no matter how fast you run. Oh. We just have to wait until the wind picks up a bit. Oh. Look! It's getting windy! Now that it is windy, the kite can fly. <laughs> the wind is quite strong now. The wind is very strong now. George! <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite. these things. Watch out for the trees. You might get the kite stuck in one. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh dear. Daddy Pig has got the kite caught in a tree. Oh no. George loved to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? No, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Pig has rescued the kite. <laughs> oh dear. Everyone is covered in mud. <laughs> it's only mud. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Daddy Pig hasn't hurt himself. And the kite is out of the tree. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, now that we're all muddy, can we jump in the puddle? I suppose so. After all, you can't get any muddier. <laughs> and I think Daddy Pig is going to be doing the washing. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles is just as much fun as flying the kite. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. To me, George! You threw the ball too hard, George. So the rules say I win. Now it's my turn. I win again! Pepper, George, today you Big Cousin Chloe is coming to visit. <laughs> George, Chloe's a big girl, like me. So don't be sad if she finds you too little 
to play with. Oh, I'm sure Chloe will play with both of you. Chloe's here. Auntie Pig has brought Chloe to spend the day at Pepper's house. Chloe is Pepper and George's cousin. Chloe is a bit older than Pepper and George. Hello, Chloe. <coughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. <laughs> See you later. Do you want to play a game? Yes, let's play catch. Peppa loves playing catch. Do you still play catch? That's a game for little children. Oh, we only play catch because George likes it. Okay, let's play it for George. Do you play it with the proper rules or the baby rules? Proper rules. I'll start. Peppa, you're it. Catch me if you can. Peppa is it. She has to chase Chloe and George. Come and catch me. see someone move, they have to go back to the start. George, you saw you move! Back to the start! <laughs> Got you! I win! You move before I was ready. The rules say I can move when I like. Don't they, George? <coughs> now it's Chloe's turn to be the sly fox. Peppa and George must stay very still. I saw you move. Back to the start. It's not fair. You look too long. The rules say I can look as long as I want. Back to the start. George is the winner. <laughs> can we play a different game? Yes. But as long as it's a grown-up game. I know. Let's play my favourite game. It's very grown-up. George, do you know what Peter's favourite game is? <laughs> Pepper's favourite game is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. George, if you jump in puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> I've brought some boots for you too, Chloe. I'm too grown up to jump in muddy puddles. Oh, so am I. <laughs> George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Secretly, Pepper would love to jump in the puddle, but she wants to look grown up. I hear there's some puddle jumping going on. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love jumping in muddy puddles. It does look fun. Yes, it does. <laughs> Maybe there's a rule that says big girls can jump in muddy puddles. Yes, that's a good rule. Race you! Race you! Pepper and Chloe love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even grown-up girls. Pig wears glasses. He needs to wear glasses to see clearly. When Daddy Pig wears his glasses, everything looks fine. But when Daddy Pig takes his glasses off, he can't see things clearly. Everything looks a bit soft and fuzzy. So it is very important that Daddy Pig knows where his glasses are. Sometimes Daddy Pig loses his glasses. Peppa, George, have you seen Daddy Pig's glasses? He can't find them anywhere. 
<laughs> Peppa and George do not know where Daddy Pig's glasses are. Oh dear, Daddy Pig cannot see a thing without them, and it makes him very grumpy. Without his glasses on, Daddy Pig cannot read his newspaper. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Somebody must have put my glasses somewhere. Do you remember where you last put them, Daddy Pig? When I don't wear them, I always put them in my pocket. But they aren't there now. Daddy, can we help find your glasses? Good idea, Peppa. If you find them, Daddy will stop being so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are looking for Daddy's glasses. Peppa looks under the newspaper, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. George looks on top of the television, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Let's look upstairs in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> Peppa and George are looking in Mummy and Daddy Pig's bedroom. George, be careful not to knock everything over. Ah! <laughs> it's not funny. Peppa looks under the pillows, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks in Daddy's slippers, but the glasses are not there either. <coughs> Let's look in the bathroom. <laughs> and George are looking in the bathroom. The glasses are not in the bath. Oh. The glasses are not in the toilet. Oh. <sighs> it's too difficult. Pepper and George cannot find Daddy Pig's glasses anywhere. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find Daddy's glasses. Oh dear. Now what can we do? I suppose I'll just have to learn to do without them. If I move slowly, I won't bump into things. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you were sitting on them all the time. Oh. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> I don't know how they got there. <laughs> I wonder how. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may have been a bit silly, Daddy Pig, but at least you're not grumpy anymore. I was not grumpy. <laughs> Pepper, George, Mummy and Daddy are having breakfast. It is a lovely sunny day, and Pepper and George can't wait to go into the garden to play. Mummy, please can we go out to play? You can go out to play when you finish your breakfast. George, don't drink your juice too quickly. George drank his juice too quickly, and now he has hiccups. <laughs> Not while George has hiccups. But George's hiccups have gone, Bobby. Haven't they, George? <laughs> oh, all right. You can go out and play. But look after George. <laughs> Pepper and George love playing in the garden. George, I'll give a throw the ball, and then you have to catch it. George, please stop hiccuping. George! Now you throw the ball to me, and I have to catch it. George! 
Oh dear, George's hiccups are spoiling the game. George, I know how to cure hiccups. You have to do what I say. <laughs> rub the top of your head and rub your tummy. Good, now your hiccups have gone. Pepper's cure for hiccups doesn't seem to have worked. George, you've done it all wrong. I know a better way to cure hiccups. First, jump up and down three times on one leg. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> hasn't worked either. George still has hiccups. I know. To cure hiccups, the ill piggy must be given a shock. George, I'm going to scare you, but you must remember, it's only a game when it'll stop your hiccups. Remember, this is just pretend scaring. <laughs> Peppa, you mustn't play so roughly with George. He's only a little. Sorry, Bobby. I just tried to stop George's hiccups. <laughs> George's hiccups have gone. Here comes Daddy Pig with two beakers of juice. George, if you drink too quickly, you will get hiccups again. I'm not as little as George. I can drink juice as quickly as I want to. Thank <laughs> you.